Hi guys, I am your photography friend Rahul from Rahul Shoy Photography. Being a wedding photographer, after shooting a wedding, I spent my maximum time on uh, organizing and editing the images which me and my team has clicked during the wedding. So, uh, I am starting a video series in which uh, I will let you know uh, what is my way of uh, managing the images uh, and editing the images. Uh, there are two uh, photo editing softwares available in the market. Uh, both are very popular. One is Lightroom and another is uh, Photoshop. And uh, I mainly work on uh, Lightroom. So this series is based on Lightroom. And I'll explain you what is my way of uh, managing and editing the images in Lightroom. I will explain uh, how I work on the Lightroom which help me uh, to manage uh, so many images uh, in the Lightroom and work very efficiently uh, while editing the images. This is my way which suits my own uh, working style. So there is no right or wrong way uh, to doing the things. There could be some other way which is uh, I mean better for you. Uh, in the first video, I will explain what are the differences between Lightroom and the Photoshop. For a long time, Photoshop is a popular image editing program. In fact, if someone says photoshopped an image, that means digitally altering an image. But now Lightroom also came into the picture. It has fantastic features, looks similar, but still somehow different than Photoshop. Both the products are from Adobe. Both are for editing the images. Then big question is, which one should I use? So let's discuss about the main difference in both the packages from Adobe, what they are used for and what anyone can do in Photoshop that cannot be in the Lightroom. Let's first talk about the Photoshop. So what is Photoshop? Well, Photoshop is a powerful tool by which you can edit photos, create any graphics, any animation, any 3D. This is basically a pixel level editor. So what does this mean? It means you can get up close with the little dots of colors that make up your digital photograph. So now uh, come to the Photoshop's positives and negatives. So let's first discuss about uh, power of the Photoshop. So first is high-end retouching. Photoshop is famous for its high-end retouching. You can remove starry hair, you can remove destructive uh, background elements, you can enhance eyes, you can whiten the teeth, you can remove skin blemishes. You have uh, tools like clone, stamp, healing brush and so many other tools for speedy and wonderful retouching. Photoshop work on layer concept. You make adjustment on individual layers and control the intensity to enhance the final image. Now come to the composites. If you want to merge multiple images like background from one image, uh, for example tree from another image and subject from different image and create one single image. So the combining of image is called as compositing and Photoshop is champion in this task. Panoramas, uh, with Photoshop you can stitch several images together to create panoramas. Content aware fill. So this is a great feature of Photoshop. You can remove unwanted element from the image or uh, you can artificially stretch or extend an image. Actions uh, help you to create a sequence of uh, steps in Photoshop and that uh, you can execute on a press of a button. So now come to the weaknesses of Photoshop. Uh, the major disadvantage of Photoshop is this is potentially destructive. If somehow you have accidentally saved over your original file, it becomes impossible for you to return to its original version. Uh, Photoshop is primarily an image editor tool. It designed to work on individual images, not on group of images. So one cannot organize and sort images in the Photoshop. Well, by default, Photoshop cannot edit raw images. You will uh, need Adobe Camera Raw Engine or Lightroom prior to edit into the Photoshop. So uh, now uh, let's come to the Lightroom that is another product from the uh, Adobe. So uh, what is Lightroom? So this is basically an image management and editing program. By Lightroom uh, you can import image from memory card, external hard disk and you can 
do sorting and organizing as you want and uh, you can edit and export to the local disk or uh, any hard disk and you can upload to the uh, web also so it's workflow centric and help you in working on number of images efficiently so uh, now discuss about uh, power of lightroom like uh, as i said lightroom is workflow centric you can import your image sort it on the basis of different criteria you can add keyword which will help you to search the image you can organize collections you can create slide shows you can directly share your image on the facebook or flickr right so uh, the most important feature of lightroom is it is non destructive whether you are working on raw file or the jpeg file it does not make any change in the original file whenever you make any change in the image it basically store the changes in catalog file that is called xmp file in photoshop we have actions and in lightroom we have presets the difference is actions are sequence of steps thereafter presets are slider settings of different element like exposure saturation clarity it take very less time to apply presets on bunch of images in single go lightroom has inbuilt adobe camera raw engine uh, you can quickly adjust exposure contrast saturation sharpness split toning and even noise also in photoshop control is on pixel level and in lightroom global image adjustment is done so lightroom is straight forward and easier to learn the in the interface is also designed to help you walk through image in easy way and uh, lightroom is much more affordable than photoshop so now come to the weaknesses of uh, lightroom lightroom is not for extensive retouching heavy image manipulation uh, for that you have to go to photoshop lightroom is designed for photographers who edit uh, their images right thereafter photoshop is on the other hand can used for to edit graphics animation and 3d's also so uh, again the question is still there like photoshop or lightroom which one is good for a photographer well there is no right answer the great news is that you can certainly use both lightroom and photoshop together because they integrate quite well so for an example if you are a wedding photographer who clicks thousands of images should use lightroom for workflow processes and for enhancing some specific images like bridal portraits you have to use photoshop so uh, what do you think about photoshop and lightroom uh, please share your uh, thoughts in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you bye bye